Sparkbase is the leading loyalty marketing platform. We build and process reward and gift card programs that connect businesses to their customers across mobile, social, and traditional plastic card platforms. So in other words, we connect consumers with the places that they shop. Notice provides software and services for direct digital marketing. So if you think about traditional direct response marketing where a company is sending a message to a postal address, what we're talking about with direct digital are simply the addressable forms of digital marketing. So being able to send a message to an email address, a mobile phone number, or a web browser cookie. What makes Notice unique is that we help companies do this from a single platform and we also provide agency services on top of that if, if our customers don't necessarily want to log into the system but really want that agency support. So we've been uh, in business since September of 2003. We've been growing 50% year over year since 2007. We've been profitable since 2007. Uh, right now we're coming up on 100 employees and we actually just opened an office in Seattle in, in December. Revere Data is a uh, financial information provider. We provide financial information to all the major exchanges uh, as well as hedge funds and financial institutions um, who are looking for in-depth analysis of companies being traded publicly. And we cover all publicly traded companies in the United States and a large part of Europe and the Far East. Northeast Ohio has a really great advantage that people don't realize. We have uh, such a, a wealth of knowledge uh, from people that have built up businesses and taken them to the next level. So we have access to people, we have access to um, really capital. If you're uh, looking to make a startup here in Northeast Ohio, there are several different angel funds, there are incubators, lots of places that are willing to help you get to that next level. Uh, for me, it's been really nice to be able to take a idea that we had, move it to uh, proof of concept, move it to actually demonstrating that we were able to get customers on this type of a platform, and then uh, being able to raise money in and around Northeast Ohio. Uh, you know, we have investors, you know, as south as, uh, as Columbus or Cincinnati, but most of them are really in this, you know, in the north half of Ohio. We have access to talent. We have access to people that are willing to give you their story and help you along the way. Uh, really, my friends in the Valley and, and, and um, on the West Coast don't have people that they can go to like we do. There's also a, a great wealth of um, resources. So if you look at the places where we have office buildings, where we have um, you know, people that can come work for you through Case Western Reserve, through um, uh, Cleveland State University, we have lots of different areas where we can both get talent, we can get resources, uh, and it's a neat area to live and work, so we like that a lot too. So if I was to describe the entrepreneurial ecosystem within, within Northeast Ohio, uh, number one, I would say that it's different than what it was back in the 90s. So ironically, back in the go-go 90s with the internet boom, uh, there was a lot of opportunity. I was building companies during that time, but the ecosystem to support that entrepreneurial activity uh, is much different uh, today than it was back then. And I think it's much more effective today, uh, provides much better support today than it did back then. And I often tell people that it's easier to start a company now in 2012 than it was back in 1998 because of that support. Well, the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in Ohio is actually one of the best. Uh, the state um, is heavily involved in recruiting uh, businesses, providing incentives. The community has a rich heritage um, a, a great uh, quality of life and um, we have the University of Youngstown that is right across the street that provides a, a skilled workforce to Revere um, based on our needs. Northeast Ohio has access to the uh, resources from a uh, HR standpoint. You have Case Western Reserve, you have Cleveland State University, there is Tri-C has a really good uh, program for getting people into jobs. Uh, there are people that want to work here and they want to stay in this area. So you're able to get people for, um, you're able to get people that'll connect with your company and want to stay in the area. Uh, they want to succeed in this area. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of um, churn in our company really from people that are moving to other states or, or other areas. Most people are from the region and they want to stay in the region. So uh, that's a huge benefit. The cost of living is much lower than a lot of the areas that we compete with on a national scale. 
you know, the offices that we're in here right now uh, are probably a fraction of the cost of what this office would cost if it was on the West Coast or even in New York or in Chicago. So we like that. Uh, one of the things that is nice for me is to be able to grow and have um, employees that stay with you over time. And so that's something that Northeast Ohio has that, uh, that other regions don't, just don't have uh, the ability to compete with. The benefits of, of uh, locating in Ohio, and especially in the Northeast Ohio, is that, first of all, again, the government uh, assistance, we get training assistance, uh, training dollars. We're a small business uh, that allows us to um, you know, offset the cost of, of training a, a new analyst and um, therefore allows us to put our capital in, in other areas. The tax incentives that Ohio provides to uh, businesses relocating here um, is quite substantial, uh, as well as um, the, uh, in any move, uh, having a skilled labor base or a workforce is critical. And if you drew a circle around uh, the Youngstown area, a uh, 50 mile radius, uh, you come up with uh, about uh, 50 uh, major colleges and universities, which we can draw from for analysts uh, here in, in, in Revere. There's a great quality of life for the people that, uh, that work here and that what Northeast Ohio can provide. Uh, it also has very convenient access to the airport, so it's not difficult to do business uh, domestically as well as internationally. Uh, so it's, there's great talent, there's a great lifestyle, great cost of living, and no real bottlenecks uh, to start your business in Northeast Ohio. And, you know, every, every region, every area has its pluses and minuses. And so, although there might not necessarily be the same degree of talent here within a specific industry that there might be, uh, say, in Boston or Silicon Valley or wherever it might be, uh, you're not necessarily competing with all the same companies that are out there either. So if you've got a company that's flourishing here in Northeast Ohio, there's a very high probability that you're going to be able to attract top-notch talent. We are part of the Youngstown Business Incubator, which is the YBI, and this is a group of companies that are uh, technology-based, uh, as we are. Uh, a lot of um, what we do um, is fa grounded in uh, technology and the sharing of information between uh, startup companies that are here in the YBI as well as established companies here in the YBI has been a, a great advantage for us and I, and I hope that we've been um, equally as helpful to our, our neighbors. When I was out raising money initially for Sparkbase, I was amazed at the um, amount of time that people would spend with us. So I would go you know, pitch at a conference or talk with a, uh, talk with a group of people and I'd have, you know, very seasoned entrepreneurs that would come and give me their number immediately and, you know, call me if you have questions, call me if you need anything. And that's translated into me doing the same thing for them. So as I, uh, you know, grow the company from, you know, just a few people to, you know, lots of people now, I'm happy to speak at events, I'm happy to go to uh, incubators, tell people my story, tell people what it is that uh, Sparkbase did right, what we did wrong. Uh, that's something that you don't get in other areas. Um, I have friends in Chicago or in LA that or in San Francisco, they can't call, you know, a Mark Zuckerberg or they can't call somebody at, at, at a huge level and say, hey, how, what did you do with this? Uh, but in a couple of phone calls, I can get the CEO of just about any company in Cleveland and they'll spend an hour with me over lunch talking about what worked and what didn't. Uh, the, the established entrepreneurs were also, were always uh, very helpful for me when I was an up-and-comer. And uh, I'd like to say that if I um, meet somebody or, 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 or I'm introduced to somebody that is at the very beginning of their entrepreneurial journey, um, that, that I take a keen interest in, in how they're doing. And so, you know, I don't really have the, the broad perspective on that, but really just my firsthand experiences. And it seems, you know, over the last 15 or so years for me that that's very much been the case. My advice to someone who wants to become an entrepreneur is to really spend some time getting to know the product or the idea. Uh, you know, we see a lot of people that just want to be an entrepreneur, but they don't really have that great of an idea yet, or they haven't flushed it out. Uh, lots of people want to own businesses. Lots of people want to, um, you know, 
take and start a company. It, it's not something that happens that systematically. It's, it's more of an organic thing. Like I really knew that I wanted to take Sparkbase and make it a company and uh, there's a lot of drive involved with that. If I was to provide some advice to a young person that wants to become an entrepreneur, I would say just to do it. That's the main thing. Uh, when you're young, you're at a point where you can focus on something um, with a level of um, exclusivity that is extremely unique compared to other phases of your life. I think that anyone who is looking to start a business um, has to really look at what's the need of, uh, of the product that they want to sell. Secondly, is there a market for it um, and where is that market? Is there a skilled workforce available? Can you get uh, additional uh, resources of money primarily uh, from agencies in that area uh, that will support you? A business community that will support you uh, as well as uh, the quality of life for uh, those that uh, do come to work for you. Northeast Ohio is definitely a competitive venue for entrepreneurs. You know, like I said, we have access to people, we have access to capital, we have access to resources, and they're all far uh, better resources than even the ones in Silicon Valley or in New York or in Chicago. Uh, people don't realize what, uh, you know, if, if you're in the Valley and you raise a million dollars or you're in Cleveland and raise a million dollars, that million dollars goes so much further here in Cleveland than it would anywhere else. You know, the rent is probably 10% of what you would spend somewhere else. The people, um, you know, aren't making three times what uh, they are here. I definitely believe that Northeast Ohio is a competitive venue for, for entrepreneurs. There, like I said before, there's, there's more support here today than there was back in the 90s if you're an entrepreneur, how you're able to tap into resources, take advantage of resources. So it definitely is. Uh, I think it's, it's only limited by the, the visions and the dreams that we have. And if, uh, if, if we're limiting those visions and dreams, then it's really uh, the entrepreneur's fault, not the region's fault. The cost of doing business in uh, Northeast Ohio is, is much less than uh, the major metropolitan areas. Um, and it's closely located to two major metropolitan uh, areas, uh, Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, um, not far from Columbus. Uh, so um, it puts a new business, uh, a new entrepreneur in a great position uh, to large markets um, while um, having the ability to work at a lower cost. Cleveland has a real uprising right now, or Northeast Ohio has a real uprising in people that are willing to do what it takes to make this region win. And I've been fortunate to be part of that when I'm talking with entrepreneurs, I'm talking with, uh, with startups, I'm talking with you know, groups of people that are trying to help the, the region succeed. Uh, one of the visions I have for Sparkbase is to make sure that this is a win for the region and not just, you know, another, uh, not just another company that, that came and went. You know, we've created jobs in this community. We've created a lot of um, knowledge here in, in the Cleveland area that you know, I'm happy to share with others. It's, it's been a real pleasure to have a company in Northeast Ohio where I can't imagine doing this anywhere else.